So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a personalized, collaborative, interactive, and media-rich Google My Map. And um, it's actually not too difficult to do. Um, inside of Google Maps now, I'm just going to click on My Places. And you will see a list of all my personalized Google My Maps that are centered around a certain theme. I'm going to create a new map by pressing this red button and I will give it a title and since I'm going to be teaching California history next year in fourth grade I'm going to do it um, in regards to California history and you can choose whether or not you want to mark it either public or enlisted. I'm going to make it public and share it with everyone. So the difference between public and unlisted is that public is that people could find it in search results, whereas unlisted, the only people who you share the link with will, will be able to see it. So if you email it to them or you post it on a website, they can all see it and they can also share it with other people. Okay, now in the ne next part, I'm going to teach you how to add a place marker. And I'm thinking of some places that I really love and would recommend that you visit for historic places. And the first thing that comes to mind is Pigeon Point Light Station in Pescadero, California. And when I was teaching fifth grade there last year, we went and it's an absolutely beautiful place. So I'm going to add that one on there. And I just put up in the search bar um, the, the name of the place and then it suddenly shows me the map. And so I can then look and see that there is a place marker here already. And I can also just add my own and just drop it right next to there. Okay, so now um, I, I see the little marker that came up when I searched for it. And then also just up here I want to show you, um, you can also switch from the map version to the satellite version. And of course you can zoom in a little bit closer. And then you can, if you want, you can just go ahead and click on that marker and you can put save to map and it will give you an option of which Google My Map that you want to save it to. And I'm going to save it to my Historic Places map. Then I'm going to go back to my map of my Historic Places. And if I click on that map marker, I can then go ahead and edit and type a description. And notice I've entered some text in there. Um, you can write in there um, a little description of what you want to do and then press OK. And I've also noticed that I've added an extra markers. That's really easy to do and I can just delete that. So the next thing that I want to show you how to do is how to add some media to your site. Uh, one example is to add a photo. So I can click on the photo icon and it will give me a box and I can just press the URL. Now I have already opened up my Picasso web albums on another tab and I'm going to click on my photo of the lighthouse that I took when I was there last time and I want to get the link to this photo. So I click over here on link to this photo now there's an embed image over here and there's this link. I'm going to be looking for the embed image because I want to put it on my, embed it on my map on the description. But one little thing that's really important is to hide the album link in image only because it needs to start with this prefix up here on the top. Um, you don't want the actual embed code. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy that URL and then I can put it in the box over here and paste it in and press OK. If I go back over to my marker, you notice that you can still see it and then press OK. And then also you can save your map or press done when you're finished. So I also want you to notice that after I've saved my image, it looks great the way that it's posted here. But when I'm in the edit mode, it looks like this. So if you see this and it makes you worried, then um, just remember that you have to make sure to save 
so that it will look the way that you want it. And I also want you to notice that on here I have a hyperlink and I also have some hyperlinks as well as the images over here. And the reason is that the Google Maps plays friendly with Picasa photos and YouTube videos, but not uh, any other um, media from another site. So in that case, you need to add a hyperlink if you're going to use something like that. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do next. So first I'll show you a hyperlink, how to do one of those. And right now I've already entered my text and I'm going to go over to a tab that I already opened of my Audioboo audio recordings. And I have an audio recording with a photo that was taken in this basically the same location as the lighthouse. And I am going to copy this link right here and then I'm going to go I'm going to go back over to my Google My Map and I'm going to highlight the part that I want to hyperlink and then I'm notice I'm also I'm in the rich text tab over here. This is really important too for whenever you're adding uh, some of this the media like the photo and the links and I'm going to click on this little chain link and I will then paste my link to my audio recording and I can press OK and then once again I will have to press done or save and we'll test it out. Here it is. I click on it. I was asked why I believe California is so beautiful. And it works. Okay, so now I've added another place marker of Pleasanton, California, which is where I live. And I'm going to add my video. I'm in the rich text tab right now. I need to go over to the edit HTML tab and put my cursor down on the bottom where I'm going to add an embed code. Then on my video tab, I'm going to press the share button and then click on the embed button and I'm going to copy the embed code, go back over to my map and then paste that in there and press OK. And there's my video about Pleasanton embedded in the place marker. Okay, almost done. Now we're just going to make this map collaborative so other people can add to it too. I'm going to click on this collaborate button and you can add people as collaborators, collaborators by email or uh, you can also allow them to invite other people or anybody to edit this map, which is what I want to do in this case and just press OK. Alternatively, I can take this link over here and I can copy and paste that into a Google site or put it out on Twitter or wherever I want and then people can also edit it that way. That's it. Enjoy. And if you'd like to add to this map as well, I'll put the link underneath the YouTube video in the description.